Hey guys, it's Claire Aiken with the Fiddly Fig Plant Resource Center. And today I wanna to tackle a question that we get once in a while, and that is, do fiddly fig trees smell? And I get totally why you would want to ask this question. Maybe you're allergic, maybe you're very sensitive to smells, maybe you just don't want anything, you know, coming into your house that's gonna cause a different odor to your house. So please subscribe to our channel, join our Facebook group where you can ask your questions, shop our store at the links below. And the question of today's video is how many fiddly fig trees do you own? Own. All right, so let's just tackle this question. So this is a question because I think before people buy a fiddly fig, they kind of want to know, is it going to smell? Um, and it's just a curiosity question too. A lot of people actually go out of their way to buy plants that smell nice for their home. And I love that idea. I love, you know, roses, bringing roses inside from the outdoors during the winter. I'll cut rosemary to put into my floral arrangements. And if you think about it, you know, we use botanicals and plants all the time in our homes to make them smell wonderful. So there are a lot of plants that do smell really good that you could put into your home. So let's talk about those now. First of all, roses. So cut roses are my absolute favorite. I have 21 roses in my rose garden. Um, also gardenias. I have a big gardenia vine on my patio and when we go outdoors to barbecue, it smells of wonderful gardenia scent. Um, honeysuckle is another one of my favorite plants that smell amazing, especially during the summertime. You know, there's jasmine, there's orchids, there's lavender. That's a great flower to cut and bring into your home or to grow outdoors. Um, and then things like mint and basil, these are things that you can keep on your window smell that will, <laughs> your windowsill, and they'll make your home smell amazing. You can also cut basil and mint and put them into your floral arrangements. That adds a really cool touch of greenery and also a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, let's talk about the opposite of household plants that don't smell so good. And so there's actually some interesting plants that you usually keep away from your house that just don't smell good at all. Um, and these, plants smell in the same way that all plants smell to attract pollinators. And that's the reason that all plants have a scent. Some of the scents are um, you know, noticeable to humans and some are not. But what's important to the plant is that it has a scent that is noticeable to its pollinator. And the pollinator for each plant can be different. You know, it could be bees, it could be hummingbirds, it could be wasps, it could be any type of insect or even different birds and pollinators like that. And so the plant is trying to attract the appropriate pollinator for its species. And so sea holly is a great example. It's pollinated by flies and it actually smells like feces, <laughs> which flies love. So that's perfect for that plant, right? But you wouldn't want to bring that into your home. Butterfly flower has a very distinct and a offensive corpse-like smell. So that's kind of an interesting example. Marigolds um, repel insects and critters by smelling bad. Um, and so instead of trying to attract a pollinator, they're actually trying to repel um, sort of predatory insects um, to keep themselves safe. Lantana, a lot of people think lantana smells like gasoline or fermentation. I actually have a lot of lantana in my yard and I don't mind the smell. So it's kind of one of these things that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, and then crown imperial is a plant that actually smells like a skunk, it smells terrible. Another one is daisies. You know, some people like the smell of daisies, some people think that it smells sort of like cat urine. And so it just depends on how you experience the smell of daisies. What about a fiddle leaf fig? So let's get to the question. So fiddle leaf figs do not smell. They have no uh, you know, scent to their leaves or to their sap. In fact, I would argue that they do the opposite of smelling in your home. They actually absorb negative smells. So they absorb things like formaldehyde, benzenes, different chem chemicals and different um, negative scents in the home, they actually absorb and process them and release pure oxygen. And so they're one of the best plants at cleaning the air in your home. And check out my video on fiddle leaf figs and whether or not they clean the air and how they do that. If you are experiencing a bad smell from your fiddle leaf fig, there's probably a secondary reason. And so one of the reasons could be root rot or some kind of a bacterial or fungal infection in the soil of your plant. So it could be over water, the water could be sitting and kind of creating a stench. It could be actually fungus or bacteria growing in the soil. Um, and so if you're smelling anything musty or anything bad from your fiddle leaf fig, look to root rot, overwatering, or a problem with the soil. Another thing that sometimes people ask is why their fiddle leaf fig smells like cat pee. The answer is that your cat probably peed <laughs> on your fiddle leaf fig. And so um, there's no natural reason that they would smell like cat pee. And so it's probably the cause is actually a cat. Um, and then another thing is if you spray your fiddle leaf fig with neem oil to protect it from insects, that smells pretty bad and it 
can really linger for a long time. So if you're interested in a spray that does not smell bad, try our Leaf Armor Spray. It protects your plant from insects and uh, bacteria, fungus, and it has an, almost no scent and it will not linger. Let's talk about why the indoor fiddle leaf fig doesn't smell. And so fiddle leaf figs actually could smell if they were outdoors and if you were a wasp, because a fiddle leaf fig in the wild will grow fruit and have flowers to attract pollinators. The only thing that pollinates a fiddle leaf fig is the specific wasp that lives in Australia or West Africa. And so if you were a wasp, you would be attracted to the scent of the fiddle leaf fig fruit and flowers. But because fiddle leaf figs don't grow fruit and flowers indoors, they just don't have that scent. And so it's possible that they could smell in the wild if they did have flowers, but even those flowers don't smell very strongly to humans, they only are attractive to wasps. So to answer your questions, fiddle leaf figs do not smell. In fact, they may make your home smell better, which is all another reason to go out and buy this beautiful, beautiful plant. So please subscribe to our channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, and ask your question in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye.